Hello and welcome back to HWLRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And today we got James Prince, or Jay Prince, coming out saying that shit. Nigga, we can step on motherfucking Pusha T like an ant anytime we want to. He's like the little ant that just runs around. So basically, he's saying, when you walking out your door, make sure it's in the summertime. It's like, you know, you walking out on your porch and shit, you know. You see the ants, but you don't never, no, you don't never see no motherfucking ant when you're walking out your door. But that's what he's saying. He's like the ants outside. Basically, you don't never see them motherfuckers until what? You get real fucking bored, you sit down, and then you look at the ground. And then all of a sudden, like, damn, it could be a motherfucking ant crawling on you. You don't even know it. But that's what he's trying to relate to him as. But I beg to differ. Not in the streets, because street-wise, we know Jay Prince is well-respected. But shit, that, we, we can't say that there's nothing about Virginia, because like my OG always tell me, nigga, you can run into a real nigga in any motherfucking state, any city, and you can run into a hoe-ass nigga in any state, any city. Don't judge the city off of them people, because you still can run into the others out there, too. Basically meaning... You can get your issue or you can give an issue anywhere, anytime. Just be ready and be respectful of everybody. That's what I took from it. But, you know, that's just a little bit of free game for you. But when it comes to lyrical, I don't think that Drake can step on Pusha T like no ant anytime he wants to. I think Drake will have a better album buzz, a better album sale than Pusher T but I definitely don't think that he could beat Pusher T in no lyrical battle because nigga Pusher T can definitely flow and if Drake ain't ready and Drake is always ready and daddy talking about they ain't released this shit that's my thing I'm like man fuck all that shit we want we want to hear the rap we want to hear the lyrics going at each other but if it's going to go further into some street shit, if y'all lose, then I just feel like, you know, you should leave it alone. Because I really think Drake will lose going at Pusha T. I mean, I think Jay Prince knows that he'll lose. But if Drake lose, Jay Prince lose. And Jay Prince don't like losing. That's why I said if it's going to go towards the street shit, I think they should just leave it alone. Because he ain't going to really lose. <laughs> he ain't going to lose. So I'm going to go down to... Push T gonna have a change of heart tomorrow. Like fuck it, man. I ain't make a no no Drake is my best friend. Fuck a diss song. I'm about to make a big up song. <laughs> I'm gonna make a whole song bigging them up. But I just had to chime in on that, so let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think Jay Prince was talking about they step on him like an ant street wise, or do you think he was actually saying that he put money on his horse in his race and saying that Drake could take out Pusha T? in a rap battle. So that's going to be the show. So make sure you go over to hwlradio.com, download the radio station app, make sure you check out the sponsors page, and shit, I'm out.